So when you're hosting walks and talks, it's really important that you always emphasize the link between what we grow as farmers in our fields and what the audience will be eating on their plates as consumers. You can do this a number of ways. Firstly, of course, you need to mention it. You need to talk about the connection between the field and what they, as a consumer, might eat. But also, like I do with this great shopping trolley, we can show people the link between different products that they buy in the supermarket and what I grow in my fields. Better than mentioning or showing a connection, you want to get your visitors to cook up a connection. I know what you're thinking. It's expensive, all the hassle with health and safety, it's going to take time and you're a farmer, you're not a chef. But it's so important that we don't just show people and tell them the link between what we grow and what they eat, but actually let's get them involved, get them cooking, because that will last a lifetime. It's really, really important. There are so many levels that we can use to try and involve people. And I think the best way is taste. So why not use some props? So we're in a field of wheat, just a simple pack of biscuits. So we take the biscuits and we'll just give everybody one to taste. Brilliant. And if you grow barley, a simple packet of Maltesers, something they recognize and has malt in it. Here's another example. If you've got bees on your farm, make sure they all get to taste some of your honey. And we can make much better links by using multiple ingredients. So here, just straightforward malt loaf and some utterly butterly made out of vegetable oil. So we can cut bits up and get them to taste not only the malt loaf, which has got the wheat and the barley with the malt, but also the rapeseed oil made into margarine. So we've shown how to give them a small taste. We've shown how to make up a taste. And now we're gonna show them how to cook up a taste. Look what I've got on the kitchen table now. It's a complete kitchen. Fabulous. We're cooking on gas and we're gonna make pancakes. Voila. So all that is possible out on the field edge. But if you've got a room, there's so much more that you can do to bring this story of field to plate to life. You can make bread, you can make scones, you can make biscuits. So it's not just about the tasting or the seeing or the preparing, it's about the doing. Talking to them as they're doing it, we can tell stories about where that wheat's come from and how that wheat is supporting all the different wildlife. And actually as they're kneading that dough, understanding the whole process that is involved, that's how they learn. They're learning not just through listening, but through feeling, through hearing, through smelling, and then later through tasting. And it's great that when the school children leave and go home, they don't just take away the experience and the memories. We also try and give them something to take home. So, for example, we will give them the dough that they've made with the ingredients that they've used, and they'll take that packaged up so when they get home, they want to share that story with their teachers, with their peers, or with their parents, or the people they live with. And they are then sharing the whole experience of a day on the farm with yet another audience. Enjoy making that connection with farming and food. Farming is magic. <laughs>